In this session, we are going to talk about scenario-based search using Google Scholar. Now, what I've done is I've developed a few queries where we are going to use in title, all in title, in text, all in text, and some other scenario-based searching using Google Scholar. So if you are looking for a particular text or if you are looking for a particular paper, you can use Google Scholar very effectively using these search queries. For example, I'm looking for something that is relevant to or related to university social responsibility. And I'm looking for papers specifically university social responsibility. So the title must have university social responsibility. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use in title. So this text must appear in the title of the paper. So what I'll do is I'll copy this for now. And paste it in Google Scholar. Now in the results I can see that Google Scholar will only give me papers that have got university social responsibility in its title. So when you are using in title and then this is followed by a particular text. So this whole phrase must be part of the title. So only papers where this whole phrase is part of the title will appear in the search string or in the results. So here are all the papers on university social responsibility. So this is how you can use or search for a specific phrase in the title of the papers. For example, if you're looking for multiple phrases or multiple like a phrase or a specific text, you do not need to write and because it is by default. Let's say I'm looking for corporate social responsibility and team or teams. So what I'll do is I'll use all in title followed by the phrase or specific word. Let's copy this and put it here. Press enter. Now have a look. Corporate social responsibility and team. Corporate social responsibility, team. So these, this phrase, corporate social responsibility and this word must appear in the title. So both of these terms actually appear in the title. So in order to do this, you will have to use all in title, not just in title because in title is used for a single phrase or single word. All in title, multiple phrases or words. Now what if you are looking for a specific text within the paper, not in the title of the paper, but in the paper. So you will use in text. This is used for a single phrase or word. So here the phrase is hybrid entrepreneurship. So what I'll do is I'll copy this and put it in the search text box and press enter. Now I will have papers where hybrid entrepreneurship appears in the text of the paper. So here are the few papers where hybrid entrepreneurship exists in the text of the paper. So this is how, sorry, this is how you can search for C, hybrid entrepreneurship in the text of the paper. But if we are looking for multiple phrases or words in the text, so we will, we will use all in text. Here I'm looking for servant leadership and project success within the text of the paper. So what we'll do is copy this string and put this search string here, press enter and it will search for servant leadership, project success, these two phrases in the text of the paper. All these, all these phrases in the text of the paper. So you can search specifically for, if you are establishing certain relationships in your paper, you can search for specific phrases within the text of the paper. Moving on, let's say we are searching for a particular concept that exists in the title and something that must exist in the text of the article. For instance, I'm looking to establish a relationship between corporate social responsibility and employee commitment. And I want corporate social responsibility to appear in the title. And there must be, or there, if there is certain relationship established between corporate social responsibility and employee commitment within the text. So this is how you can do it. So corporate social responsibility as a phrase in the title employee commitment 
as a phrase in the text. There is only one paper that has got corporate social responsibility in the title and will have commitment in the text. You can change it as well. Let's say we only use commitment. So there could be multiple papers now. See corporate social responsibility and commitment in the text. Corporate social responsibility here and commitment in the text here. So this is how you can search for title and text together. Moving on, let's say if we are looking to search for a particular theory. Now, let's say I'm looking for what theories have been used with servant leadership. So the, the word theory might not appear in the title of the paper, but it might appear in the text. So I'm looking forward to assessing or finding out what theories have been used with servant leadership. So I've got this string here. Let's copy this and put it here. Now it will tell me, okay, servant leadership, it's a new leadership theory. Servant leadership theory, servant leadership theory. Now moving on, you can have, let's say here. So see, the word theory appears in the text, the word servant leadership appears in the title. So this is how you can search for a specific theory that might have been discussed with servant leadership. Or you can have your own concept as well, maybe corporate social responsibility, maybe internal marketing, maybe customer loyalty, maybe anything else. So servant leadership has been discussed with LMX theory, so you can use LMX with servant leadership. So moving on, let's say you want to check whether complexity theory has been used with servant leadership or path code theory has been used with servant leadership. So servant leadership appears in the title of the paper and path code theory appears in the text of the paper. Let's copy this string and paste it here. And yes, it has been used with servant leadership here. So servant leadership path call theory, servant leadership path call theory, path call theory and servant leadership. So this is how a particular theory might have been used with a particular concept and in order to search this, you can use this particular string. Moving on, let's say if you are working on a concept and we are looking to or looking forward to uh, if there has been some limited or little research on a particular concept and we are looking to obtain gaps from existing research. How are we going to search for that? So what I've done is I've got this in title customer loyalty and so you do not need to write and but you will need to write or that is capital or. So I'm searching for whether customer loyalty has scarce limited or little research. So has are there any words like this in a particular paper? So let's put this in here. And let's see. So there is little reason to spend much effort weighing up the alternatives. So obviously you will have to read through the papers. Yet little is known. So obviously this paper might be helpful. Little research has been. So this paper might be helpful. So this is how you can use this search string here to search for gaps in existing research. Similarly, you can use different words as well in the title, customer loyalty and mediating, and then these words as well. You can use in text with it as well. So let's say if we write in text, and let's say all in text. So well, there is little that we get out of it. Let's remove this and let's search. So here it is. So the word limited, little, there is little systematic empirical research to collaborate or refute this perspective of customer loyalty. So this is how you can search for gaps in existing research by using strings like these. Moving on, let's say you are looking for a particular definition. So you can use this particular string. If you are looking for a definition, let's say, let's put it in. 
So this is how you can look for different definitions of different concepts. You can use wildcard characters as well. For example, internal marketing, this concept comes with different um, variants. It is internal marketing as well. It is internal market orientation as well. So what I've done is I've written internal marketing, which appears same in every variant and then followed by an asterisk. So let's copy this and let's search for papers. So in title, internal market or internal marketing. So you'll get internal market orientation, internal market orientation, internal market orientation, internal market, internal market, internal market. So this is how you can search for different variants of a particular paper in the title or even in the text as well. I hope this scenario based search using these example stings will help you search for particular text particular papers and help you write your literature review as well. Thank you very much.